You're going to check what? You're going to check what? There you go. Three times you said it, you should know it. We still need to see our keys. We still need to see that big picture. Okay? If we've got a loss in front of us, we got to help. Quarterback's not ever getting the ball off the set. You know what I'm saying? We can help that. Go. Get each other out. Let's get that tap the hat going. Let's make sure we're good with that. Make sure you're on top, on point. Be excited, man. Try this. Try this for me, please. When coach is coaching you and going over something, have a passion to learn. And you'll be shocked how much faster you'll pick it up. And how much better you'll understand. And then carry over and try that in the classroom. And you'll be shocked how much better you do. At anything you do, guys. Whether it's a position meeting or, or any type of team meeting, um, you're learning your position, you're learning what you're supposed to do. Uh, that You can take notes in that, um, you can watch the film, your coach will explain to you that you know you need to do this, this, and this. Um, those skills can be related back to school because it's the same thing when you meet with your professor, it's going over a game plan of academics. Um, when you're meeting with myself, uh, when we sit down, we're going to give you the building blocks, hey, this is how you're successful in this play, or, aka in this classroom, uh, on these assignments, on these discussions. Um, everything they do with their coach correlates back to academics. It's almost like a, a classroom environment, like uh, the two-part classes that you have. I have a couple of them as an engineer, uh, the lecture and the lab. And so the, uh, the lecture is all the install that we do and all the film watching that we do. And then the lab is on the field. Are you going to play? Going through grades, start at the top with Ed. You have 42 plays, technique grade of 81%, had one loaf. Two MAs, productivity was very good. I uh, had three tackles, three assisted tackles, and one TFL. Excellent job using your power foot. Here's our three pop drill right here. Whack! I got my power foot down. All right, I'm splitting this crotch. I'm striking low to high. I got my hat and my hips and my gap. Trey, this is our cut drill all day. Excellent job. Pad level defeats cut. All right, squash the head. Clear your feet, staying alive, got an extra hat front side because you didn't get cut. Good job over there, eight. Hey, three strong, three strong. Okay, and then we gotta communicate across the board. So write that down. You have a piece of paper in front of you, you have a pen, you have a clean sheet of paper. We like to call it like football smart, like FBI, football intelligence. And so we, we study like little things, like we look at stances of the D linemen to see if they might be stunning. If they lined up tighter on you, then they're probably going to cross your face. Coaches drawing stuff up on a board, there might be abbreviations or something like that that you have to learn. It's the same thing for when you go into a textbook. Just, you know, do quick hits, quick notes, things that'll let you understand the overall gist of a sentence or overall gist of a play. It's the exact same thing. You just got to bring the same intensity like you bring to learning a play or learning something um, athletically to academics and you'll be successful. Whatever he puts down on the board, we have to write it down in our, in our notebook. So I kind of do the same thing in class too, is if they'll write something down on the board, I'll, I'll try to have that in my notes. I think the mindset's kind of the same. It kind of has to be the same. You have to be focused, um, but it's a little different. Probably more relaxed in the linebacker room than in class and uh, a little bit more informal. When you first come out of high school, it's a little overwhelming. The coach thing calls you up and you, you, you you start freaking out a little bit because you don't want to get it wrong and you, you don't want to like take too long because if you take too long then he'll move on to someone else. Dylan, do you remember 50 protection? Um, it's not um. Oh, sorry. Don't worry, you're not the only one to get some trouble for that. If you're a young guy and he's asking like older guys a question and you can sit there and you can see how they answer it and as long as it, it, it's, it gets easier over time. The key to life is what you learn after you know it all. We all can get better every single day. We all can learn something every single day. How about one of your goals? We've been learning all, all summer, so 
the learning is just continuous. We see a lot of instances where freshmen or anybody from fall camp, when they get into school in the first couple weeks, they're just hitting it hard. I'm ready to start the semester. Not too ready for being up late with homework and studying and everything, but I'll get through it. I had a really good freshman English teacher in college, and he would kill us about that, and we spoke. And so I quit doing it. it. Took me a while. Hard. But it's waste words, right? So, guys, and I told you guys that story. I worked with that real smart engineer. When I'd ask him a question, he would go, we're going to do this right here. You go there, and we'll do this. He wouldn't go, oh, that's a good question. i got to think about that. Okay, those are waste words. It's stupid. Uh, uh, uh. We're gonna go here. You don't need to do all that. Gather your information and then say the answer. Skip the waste words. Okay, it'll make you appear more intelligent. It'll make you sound more intelligent.